Hello everyone! Today we would like to show you the possibility of creating Amazon Variation Listings from the Celestio application. In one of the previous videos, we created the product with options directly on Amazon Seller Central. Today we will use Celestio Application Creation Profile for more easy transfer of listing details to Amazon. To create a new Amazon ASIN code, we will be needed to create a new creation profile inside Celestio. Creation profile is available starting from the grower plan. If you are on a free plan, please change your subscription to a grower. Before starting with the creation profile, let's extend our product information with extra meta fields information. We will use this meta fields as extra data for product creation. Open the Shopify settings page and then navigate to the tab Meta Fields. And then for product Meta Fields, add a new field Amazon description. Please don't forget to set a content type. Without it, Shopify will not allow saving a product. Then please navigate to the Shopify catalog page and set this Meta Field value to a couple of products. Celestio fetches data for Meta Fields automatically a couple of times per day. If you would like to see it faster, please jump to the Celestio settings page and click on the button Refresh Meta Fields. To retrieve Meta Fields data Celestio will need around an hour. So let's jump to Creation Profiles, it's located under Menu Celestio Profiles Creation Profiles. Please click here on button Add Creation Profile to create a new one. Every creation profile could be created only for a specific marketplace. Based on marketplace selection, categories, and configuration options could be different. So, it's required the first step to choose a proper marketplace. Product description and other fields currently remain unchanged and jump to adding a new mapping form. Mapping is a way how data of collections or product types from Shopify store could be converted to Amazon category-specific details. Let's try to create a new mapping for one of our collections that will export products to the t-shirt category on the Amazon Marketplace. In the first step, we choose a condition that should match the Shopify product to fit into this mapping. Then we need to select an Amazon category that will match our product type. Based on the selected category, you can choose a department related to your product and then select a product type. With a selection of product type, you will receive a list of options that you need to set in order to export your products to Amazon. Important to notice. Options are split between recommended and optional fields. In most cases, it's more than enough to fill in some of the recommended options. But for clothing categories, there could be also mandatory options from optional fields. Exactly the list of options you can check using the Amazon Seller Central form and then based on this list, enter information inside Creation Profile. Some of the Amazon Product Details fields allow you to select one of the existing values, another one required you to enter the value as text. If you already using meta fields for Shopify products, data from these fields could be used to use as details inside Creation Profile. Few examples, model name, key feature, target gender. Another part we would like to highlight, it's the variation details. The variation section is represented at the bottom of the page, just before the optional fields list. If you are exporting variation products to Amazon, it's required to select one of the variation theme sets. We will use the theme size and for matching variation option attribute from Shopify store size as well. As you remember, from the previous video, there is also a list of attributes required to set for every variation. For the UK marketplace it was size system, size class, and other size-related properties. Please don't forget to set it as well. If you forget what options were required, please always look into Amazon Seller Central Product Edit or Creation Form. Please click on the Add Mapping button and then Save Creation Profile. After we create the creation profile, we need to select it inside Amazon Profile. We will create a new profile for the UK Marketplace with the creative possibility. 
We will also indicate that we would like to export variation products and that we don't have EAN code. After this, we will navigate to selling list and create a new selling list with a product mode. We will also choose the correct marketplace in Amazon profile. And then we will add products that we would like to create on the Amazon marketplace. All selected products are added to selling list with a current information about price and QTY. You can check what actual options existing for every products. Then we select products from a list and click on the send to Amazon button. The time of process for product export is very dependent on Amazon Marketplace performance. For newly created products, it usually takes from 5 to 15 minutes. So let's back to this page in 10 minutes. From the result we can see on this page, we can see that the export to Amazon finished with an error. Unfortunate, Amazon is not very informative in describing errors. And in most cases, it indicates that the value for some fields is missing. To understand exactly what is wrong, we need to open a Seller Central account and process to page catalog Complete Your Draft Product. Then inside the list of incomplete listings, find one with an SKU started with the P-prefix. This is the parrot product for all our variation listings. Click on the Edit Draft button and inspect what attributes are missing there across all required attributes. Then return to the creation profile we created, click on the Edit Mapping button, and then enter a missed value to this field. When changes are saved, return to Selling List and resend failed products. Sometimes adjusting products could take some time and require a number of iterations, together with checking results on Amazon. But in the end, when you manage to list the first items, other products will become exportable from the first try. The same applies to new products. So you add a new product to the selling list, export it to Amazon, and then after some time, your product becomes linked and available for sale on the Amazon Marketplace. This is all for today. Hope you enjoyed our video and it helps you export your products to the Amazon Marketplace. With the next video we will continue looking for other online marketplaces, and this time we will register on eBay. And then add a new eBay account to Celestio Integration. Stay tuned!